Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to go do a little scouting for some spring gobbler hunting. I know you guys all enjoyed the last year's video where we did the full hunt, clean, and cook. I'm going to try to do the same thing this year. So this may be of an interest to some of you guys. This place right here is where I grew up, okay? My father was a forest ranger. He used to run these big trucks back here. He was a wildland firefighter. Our home used to be right over there, right where that little dry retention is now. And this area where I'm parked in used to be my backyard uh, from the time I was five years old till I left and went in the Marine Corps and left home for good. So, I mean, the place has changed a bit since back then, but right where I'm standing is the same place I was standing when I was just a little kid. So let's get on into how we're getting back here because they don't allow any vehicles back right, here. So today we're gonna to be using, for our mode of transportation, the Hemaway E-Cruiser bike, which these bikes are allowed on the trails here since they are pedal assisted bicycle they are still considered a bicycle we just got this one in it has a 48 volt samsung lithium ion battery right here and i've tried it out around the house a little bit and let me tell you it's got some power and i'm hoping that these big four inch fat tires on it are help, going to help me float over this uh, off-road terrain here now i've seen a lot of people do reviews on this bike but I haven't seen anybody really do it from a, a aspect of off-road and using it for hunting and scouting and things like that. So we're going to take her for a spin today. Go down and check a trail camera. Go ahead and turn her on. And uh, one thing I have learned on this thing is to start it out pedal assist zero. Uh, because it can surprise you with the amount of power it has when it gets ready to take off. So let's see if we can get going here and uh, see how it does. So at this point, I got her going in kind of slow mo here because if you start pedaling, this is going to go about 11 miles an hour. But you got a twist grip on this side right here. This gives you a lot of power. Again, you get in tight stuff, you're gonna wanna turn your pedal assist to zero. But let's go ahead and uh, just stretch it out a little bit. It actually, the tires are so big and it's that's a substantial amount of weight so it doesn't like going slow we're gonna head on down to this pond here where I got a trail camera and see what we got the ride is really good on these fat tires and front shock Try it out in some sand before we leave here today. See how it does. See what it gives me. Okay, guys, I just heard a turkey gobble and I have my call back in the truck. So, I'm going to turn you guys off for a minute. This is another advantage to the e bike, it's very quiet hardly makes any noise and a nice gobbler just gobbled right back in there so I'm gonna go back to the truck get the call see if we can call him so I took the him way back to the truck and that didn't take long because it runs 22 miles an hour full speed and got my turkey call this is just your bush button type bombshell let's see if we can get that turkey to gobble again This 
thing hasn't been used in a while. Well, I've been calling for a little while. Usually they run the other way when I start calling, but it's getting a little better. Let me know in the comments if I'm just scaring them away. So far, including the trip down and back to the truck and then back up, we've already gone five miles. And I'm at 100% battery still. So I'm not sure where that trail goes. Check that out later. Let's see if I see anything interesting. Alright, so we're down at the Beaver Dam. Looks like forestry tore it out. I got to pile up against the culvert. Still a little bit of it over here. But nothing like it was back when we set trail cameras here. So what I'm going to check now is the um, I'm down in first gear and I've got to start off on uphill. So I want to see how much power we've got. Oh. About brakes a little bit because we got some serious down here. It's got front and rear disc brakes. I'm using just the rears right now going down here. We should be able to cross this creek right here. had to do that pedal power only that would not have been as easy that we're here. We have been stuck in that cord right there a few times back when I was a teenager on a two-wheel drive. I got it so far. I've been tracking us, our progress on Gaia. Also, I have the app on my phone. I don't know if you guys can see that. Been tracking us. We've gone seven miles. Seven miles, and we're still 100% battery. Kind of hard to see that display up underneath my impromptu GoPro mount, but there you go. Still full charge. Seven miles in. And that's a, one of the great features about this bike is the range. I'm having a great time. I, was, I haven't been back in here in years because I didn't want to walk this far.
I'm gonna enjoy exploring a lot more back here in these areas that you can't take vehicles with the Hemway bike. Okay, battery update. 9.7 miles we've been uh it's three quarters of the way charged still 9.7 miles all off road gravel and dirt roads it's really fun guys i've been stopping calling for turkeys but nothing yet they burned this area recently so probably not the primo spot but we'll keep looking has been doing great and we got our first critter encounter looks to me like a big yellow rat snake he's just out here chilling in the sun there he is, guys. sometimes this is called a corn snake this one's really yellow. This is a yellow rat snake. He's just chilling. He's laying right by this gopher hole. He doesn't seem to mind me at all. You can see he's pretty big. Well, right here is next to Southern gopher tortoise hole I passed several on a trail but they as soon as they see me they duck back in their hole so I didn't get any footage of them but found this guy just chilling here I don't bug him harmless snake though pretty one so Hemway e-bike is ran I, I'm telling you it's kind of surprised me a bit uh, how much uh, how comfortable it is to ride out here in the trails like we've been doing and you know we haven't done anything serious but we have gone through some mud some sandy areas on some uphill downhill it's very controllable the big tires really help and really help the ride and we're gonna do soft sand test now this trail is pretty soft. This one's not as soft as the one we're going to hit in a minute. I'm noticing a bunch of turkey tracks on this one. Uh, pretty rough from horse tracks, too. Alright, guys, right here is where we're fixing getting into the gnarly stuff. Gonna have to be careful. just to throttle because I can go easier with it. The horses have got it all. Jing jam me up. built a blind here. So I'm telling those guys for Operation Outdoor Freedom. It's been a lot of 
deer here and turkey so pull them a new blind right there guys should be able to get some turkey some nice turkeys here this year and there's been some monster bucks over here too i've been sharing all that information without operation outdoor freedom So before your battery runs out, I'll show you we're around a little walking trail here. And it's pretty tight. I'm using a combination of the throttle and pedal assist. When it gets tight, I'm turning the pedal assist off. A little tight corner like this, I'll just turn it off. Just use the pedals, turn it back on. That way you got complete control of it right there. Same right here, tight turn. Use the pedal to come out of it. It's very easy to just click on the button. Turn it on and off. Oh, it's just one. So that's a little trail ride on the Hemway, Hemway Cruiser. We still got plenty of battery. Still got half a battery left. We've been out here all day. It's got more battery than this GoPro, I'll put it that way. I had a great time on the Hemway bike today. Uh, we, we put a lot of miles in too. And we still got a quarter of a charge. And right there, I hope you all can see that. 17.7 .7 miles on three quarters of a charge. And that was in some pretty rough stuff. Some winding trails, slow stuff, we we're never on pavement. Um, you know, we stopped and started several times. I've been in there trying use my turkey collar and um we're in some real sandy bad crap too um only dumped it once um in a rut in the sugar sand wasn't too bad but anyway i think that's pretty impressive 17.7 .7 miles off road and the conditions we took you on today so i'm looking forward to trying this thing out even more and it's really going to help me out with what we do here especially with our hunting videos and maybe we'll even do some uh, more remote cooking for you guys here on the Backwoods Gourmet channel. So, hope you enjoyed this little review of the Hemway Cruiser. Um, right now, first impressions, I'm super stoked about it. So, going to try to leave you a link in the description box below where you can check it out for yourself. So, thanks for watching.